Happy Friday, crafty friends. You may wonder why I have a t-shirt here, but this is a very important and special t-shirt to me. This is the 2018 Susan Komen Race for the Cure shirt that I wore last year during the Race for the Cure. Next Saturday, I will be participating in the Race for the Cure again for the 2019 Race for the Cure Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm not only just participating as a walker in the race, but I am also a three-year survivor of breast cancer. So this race means more to me than just a fundraiser. It means a huge accomplishment by beating breast cancer and a reminder of the battle I fought and also what a blessing it is that I am now being cancer free for three years. In preparation for the race, I have been inspired to create a few breast cancer cards. So I thought I would share two of my favorites with you. Here is the first one. And I used my Cricut die cut machine to cut out the pink ribbon. I have a breast cancer cartridge that I love. I used an Illustrated Faith vellum piece for the word faith. A piece of breast cancer ribbon paper and the dark pink ribbons have got a uh, glitter to them. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then I added an enamel dot for my eye. And on the inside of my card, I used the word survivor. And I am sending this to one of our own crafty friends who is a breast cancer survivor. You may know who you are, but I'm not going to name any names. Keep an eye out in the mail. And this card is my favorite one I've created so far. Again, I used some breast cancer paper, some pink breast cancer ribbon, and I layered with the word hope. I used one of the Illustrative Faith stickers. I just love this cute girl. And I fussy cut out a pink ribbon to add to her shirt. And here is the inside of this card. I used some paper scraps. And I added a pink ribbon bling, which I got in a pack from the Dollar Tree. I plan to give this card to one of our news anchors here in Charlotte, who is the voice of the Susan Komen Race for the Cure. And there will be an event tomorrow that she is hosting, which I will be attending. And I plan to write her a note and include it in this card. As a thank you for all she does to support breast cancer and the Susan Komen Walk for the Cure. I encourage all of you, whether you have breast cancer or a survivor, know someone who is fighting breast cancer or have lost someone to this awful disease to consider walking in the Susan Komen Race for the Cure in your area. It is such a moving and meaningful day, but it's also a lot of fun to be surrounded with a sea of pink. The support I felt last year brought me to tears. 
I am raising money for the walk, and I will leave my link below if you feel led to donate. All the funds go to Susan G. Komen, which support breast cancer research and treatments in my area. Hopefully one day, no one will have to fight the battle of breast cancer, and we will find a cure. Please pray for all women and men fighting breast cancer in all of the different stages of their battle. And remember, one in every eight women is diagnosed with breast cancer. I was only 41 years old. I had had a mammogram the year before, which was clear. A year later, I had stage 2 breast cancer. After five surgeries and a double mastectomy, I am cancer-free. So even if you've received a mammogram recently, please make sure you get your yearly checkups because it can show up within a year's time and change your life forever. I beg you, friends, to go get your yearly mammograms so you do not have to suffer from this awful disease. Thank you so much for your support. And if you are interested in donating to Susan G. Komen, I will leave the link below. And any amount will make a difference. Thanks again, friends, and happy weekend.